War. War never changes. Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to an attempt to go through Fallout 4 and its lore in a structured way, following the path of the character we get to play with while also influenced by your suggestions. We will be systematically going through locations and quests while also leveling up and building our character. The first few locations will be very familiar to most, but hopefully life will quickly lead us to obscure locations and quests filled with interesting information. So. Let us begin. This is Steven Sunderland, the sole survivor. Before we actually become the sole survivor, we must get familiar with our family. In the starting moments of our adventure, we learn of the existence of Nora, our wife, Sean, our son, and Codsworth, our charming robotic butler. Steven is a retired army veteran who served in the 2nd Battalion of the 108th Infantry Regiment. Regiments are organized military units that are most often separated into two battalions, as was the case here. Curiously, this particular battalion of this exact regiment exists in the real world, and it is a part of the New York National Army Guard. Steven fought in the Sino-American War between the Chinese and the Americans and luckily survived, which allowed him to build a family here in Sanctuary Hills. During a nice and relaxing couch potato moment before we were supposed to visit the veterans hall in the nearby town called Concord, someone knocked on the door. It was a Vault Tech representative who was there to tell us that we are eligible to enter the Vault 111 that is located nearby. He also warns that the apocalypse might be closer than we think, which leads me to believe that he knew more than he said, but he was also a fake salesman, so who the hell knows. Afterwards, the news reports of nuclear strikes in Pennsylvania and New York, which forces us to run towards the vault and seek shelter. The bombs that fell were likely launched from nuclear submarines owned by the Chinese, which quickly resulted with every nation sending nukes onto everyone else. This all happened because of the lack of resources, especially oil, and the increase in biological weapons research that leaked into the public, which is also the reason mutants and ghouls exist. Once we get near the vault, 111 entrance we can see the representative being told to piss off because his suit smells like shit, while we are given safe passage. This seemed rather weird because the guard used a generic way to describe us, as if he didn't know or care if we were on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. It seems to me like we got chosen just because we were a full family. This brings us to Vault 111, a relatively unique vault due to its design and size. The elevator leading to the entrance deep underground is not something that is used by other vaults, and this one is smaller in size compared to the rest. It is smaller because Vault Tech used it as a cryogenic testing facility for a few individuals rather than a shelter for hundreds. Shortly after, we, along with others, got bamboozled by thinking we would enter a decontamination pod, when in fact we got our ball frozen. Sometime during the freezing, someone decided to come, shoot our wife in the face and steal the baby. We go back into ice and eventually get set free, in the year 2287. The release was not random or an error, but we will get to that at a later time, there is no need to venture into it right now. Upon exiting the pod, we can open the one our wife was in and obtain her wedding ring. It has absolutely no practical use, but it is worth a few caps and can be worn by humanoid companions. When it comes to the vault itself, it had directives whereby after 180 days the cryogenic pods would get opened if the Vault Tech HQ gave the Overseer the all clear message. This message never came and the supplies started running low. The Overseer got increasingly paranoid and feared that the radiation would murder them all if they opened the door. Unfortunately, due to humans being humans, there was a mutiny among the dwellers which was probably successful because we can only find a few skeletal remains from what appears to be security personnel, the rest of them seem to be gone. On. Upon exploring the vault, we can find a lot of screwdrivers, cups and beer bottles, as well as the terminals that explain what exactly went on. Another thing we can find on the terminals is a minigame called Red Menace that was created by Vault Tech Game Studios in 2053 as a way to share propaganda against the Chinese Communist forces. It plays like Donkey Kong and can be played from the Pip-Boy as well. I recommend not playing it because it may infect you with communism. We also come across a few weapons, first one being the police buttstick. Soon after, we find steam packs and a 10mm pistol with a lot of ammo for it. 
We must remember that the world does not have a lot of ammo for this pistol, so being reserved in our usage of it is something we should keep in mind. The last and most important thing we can get in the vault is the Cryolator, a weapon that creates a cryogenic spray and enables us to freeze the enemies. It uses cryo cells as ammunition, which are quite rare, but we will return to it and discuss details once we are able to open the box. After murdering a few red roaches and collecting their radioactive meat, we get to the vault exit, which, with the help of the Pip Boy, gets us out into the Commonwealth. Greeted by the blinding shine of the sun, we are ready to start exploring the wasteland. Before that actually happens, please do let me know, where should we go? Robotics Disposal Ground, Concord or Abernethy Farm? Please use the voting card and comments to let me know. And lastly, please consider supporting my Patreon to keep this series going. Every dollar helps. Thanks for watching and I hope you will participate in Steven's journey, as it is the only aspect of the game I still haven't touched, and having you to experience it with seems pretty fun. I have been Petar, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.